I mean, I don't, I don't know how to feel. I think my heart's going. I think I'm questioning my sexuality. <laughs> uh, the sugar babes are in the room. Hi. Um, this is unbelievably exciting. I mean, you guys have actually been back together for about nine years. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, 2013, I was streaming Flatline. Oh, good. Oh, I was you. there. I was there. Um, so here we are in 2022. Mm-hmm. What, why do you think this year was the spark of doing like Glasto and doing Mighty Hoop? Like, I mean, were those conversations going on and then it all lined up? Or yep, I mean, pretty much. I know that um, it really for us when we got the name back in 2019. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like that was a massive change just in terms of how we were feeling about everything. Yeah. But then the pandemic happened immediately afterwards, which then delayed even more of our yeah. plans and stuff. It feels like the right time. And yeah. it, you know, and it means even more because now we're doing, you know, we're doing it as Sugar Babes and not MKS. And there's a whole backstory behind just us fighting for the name and how much that means to us. And um, the fact that our fans are stuck beside us and had the patience for all that of time. Joe but this whole time, it's been incredible. I mean, I've got to be honest. I was, I was going through my memory bank of like Sugar Babes in my life. Number one, you were like the first song on my iPod because about you now. Um, I also did a GCSE drama play with Push the Button in it. Okay. <laughs> no way. Because I don't know, there was there was a button in the story and then and it just worked. Okay. we were like, well, we're going to do full on three minutes choreography here, but it sort of happened. Oh, wow. <laughs> you see? And so like, what what is it like then to, to be like a go-to reference for like people and kids and adults in the noughties? I mean, when you think of that time, you do think of the sugar babes. It feels lovely. It feels yeah, nice yeah. to say see things everyone. like, you know, your, your lyrics changed um, my life. They helped me through a really hard uh, time yeah. And, yeah. and things like that. And you realise that, Amazing. you know, you are you are connecting um, with people. It's lovely. Yeah. Gorgeous. It's lovely. So Indeed. after so after 20 years, mm-hmm. what has stayed the same between you three and what has changed? I think just being older in general, I think our communication and how we resolve our mm-hmm. differences and stuff, which, which is, I think very we're all normal. funnier. Huh? Yeah. We're all funnier. Oh yeah, all yeah, of yeah. us. Oh, really? Do you think? Oh, yeah. 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 Learn how to tell a joke. She's always bantering about bus. some. The banter bus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sugar babes, that's overload. And uh, listen, I I asked for questions from your fans. Okay. Um, and some of them were ridiculous. Some of them were amazing. Some of them were just facts, like Abby. Why are you guys so amazing? Oh, oh Abby. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's let's crack on with some of these. Jakey's just says, "Who's the dream collab? Who's the one that you'd want to like shut oh. down in the studio?" Pharrell. Would say Calvin Harris. Yeah. Burner Boy. Burner Boy. For sure. Mark Ronson. Yeah. Would be sick. Mm-hmm. Dean, what does the button do if I push it? Let you in. <laughs> oh. No, no. Think for yourself, love. No. Well, it doesn't necessarily. But well, no, wait, wait, wait. He never said where to. And he just said, if you press, and it's not if you press the button over there, you, yeah. get, you, get, you get out or come in. Yeah, you get okay, in. True. It is, it's the same. It was not rude. Uh, sugar <laughs> Babes. <laughs> sugar Babes overloaded. So if you, if you wanted that handle, it's completely gone um would you ever re-record the hits there was talk around that um our anniversary whether how we wanted to sort of put it out would we re-record it and kind of like give it to our fans but it's so funny because obviously we're a fan of music first and there's something about original songs that's really special so we decided against it and also if we have you know when we actually get time to be in the studio we're going to want to work on something new and, you know, there's, there's a lot of ideas we have. <gasps> I'm so excited. Um, Joe says, did your name come about as a result of someone asking you how you have your tea? Uh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Our name actually, our, I like that. our first manager, Ron Tom, he would call us sugar babies all the time. Uh, and then we put, pretty much put our foot down before we got our first record deal and we were like, listen, our friends are watching. Babies doesn't work, so we're going to have to babe it. Okay. Um, so hey. that's pretty much how it was, yeah. Was. Uh, final question from Andy. What is the next 20 years of the Sugar Babes looking like? Wow. Sky's the limit, I yeah. say. Why not? Yeah. I'm so glad you guys are back. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you so much for gracing me with your presence. I feel like this aura so will never leave me. Oh, thank you. thank you. I hope you're coming to the tour. Oh, my God. Every single night, you'll oh, be sick mate. of me and you'll get the bouncers going, get that thing out. <laughs> it doesn't hurt me.